Hi everybody, this is Bastian and this is the annotation of a correspondence game I played using the Janowski Larsen variation of the Queen's Gambit Accepted. So since this is a correspondence game, you might see some accurate moves and some long-term strategies. So I'm playing white. They starts with d4, d5, knight f3, knight f6, e3, bishop g4. Now there are several variations. I can play h3 immediately to kick back the bishop. Can develop the bishop. Can develop the knight. Develop the pawn on c4. So I'm entering the queen's gambit by transposition. c4. Pawn takes. Bishop takes. e6. And this is the Anowski Larsen variation of the queen's gambit accepted. Now, typically, white may consider to develop his queen on b3 to attack the pawn on b7. b7 is no longer protected by the bishop, which is now on g4. However, if I were to do so immediately, queen b3, black just might play bishop takes knight on f3. And I can no longer capture on um, b7 because of the attack on the queen. So I can't get a free rook. Instead, I will have to double pawns. And mathematically, white is still winning. But I have double pawns. And I'm unable to castle safely on the king side. And I don't like this type of game really. So. Instead of playing playing queen b3 at this point, I play knight b to d2 to add more protection to the knight on uh, f3. And only then queen to b3. So black plays c5. I play h3 to kick back the bishop. g4. And instead of playing queen to b3, I play g4 to chase the bishop even farther away. Bishop retreats to g6. And now h4. And at this point, black may attack the pawn on g4, which seems to be unprotected. But if black were to capture on g4, I can play h5. And after h5, black will have to retreat his bishop to f5. And now e4 and black's bishop is lost. So since this is correspondence, black realizes that he cannot take on g4 right away. Instead, black plays h5. h5 serving two purposes, pawn takes pawn, and providing a retreat for the bishop if needed. Play continues with knight to e5, again attacking the bishop and black now plays pawn takes pawn i play g5 attacking the knight black plays an in-between move pawn takes pawn so i recapture pawn takes pawn i'm still threatening the knight knight goes to d7 i take on the bishop on g6 and the pawn recaptures and at this point I'm down a pawn, but we can see that black has double pawns on the G files, that all his pawns on the G and H files are being blocked by my pawns, and that I'm getting an immediate counterattack on the pawn on E6. Now keep in mind that the G6 pawn will be a target for the rest of the game, and I'll be playing in order to attack that pawn, however I cannot recapture immediately on E6 which would be a mistake. If bishop takes pawn on e6, black can simply play queen e7, character attacking the bishop, and if the bishop moves, black can gain a pawn on e3 with tempo, attacking the king, and white will be losing. If white tries to protect the bishop with queen to b3, 
providing protection for the bishop and also attacking the pawn of d7 in some cases. Black can simply counter with knight to c5, so this defensive plan doesn't work at all. And bishop takes pawn, should not be played instead. I play queen to c2, immediately attacking the weak pawn on g6 with tempo and a check. Black plays knight to e5, protecting his pawn and attacking my bishop. But this now allows bishop takes pawn, and white can no longer attack my bishop with tempo with a discovered attack on a pawn on e3, because now his knight is blocking on e5. So bishop to c5 to attack the Aslet pawn on e3 instead. Knight e4 which uh, provides discovered protection on the pawn on e3 and also develops a piece. Bishop b4 check. Bishop d2 to block and d2 is um, sufficiently protected by queen, knight and king. So I'm getting ready to castle, probably queen side, which looks the safest. Bishop takes d2, and I'm forced to recapture with the knight. If queen retakes, I get a fork. King cannot recapture because of check, so knight recaptures, which is basically forced. Rook to the open file, which prevent castling kingside. So I castle kingside anyways. And now knight to d3 check. The knight cannot be recaptured because it is protected by the queen. And it looks like the knight can jump in to f2 with the fork on the two rooks. So white seems to be in a ter terrible position. King b1 forced, basically. And now black does not play knight to f2. And the reason why is that if black were to play knight to f2, we can get knight to c4 with a discovered attack on the queen, forcing knight takes rook on d1. But then rook takes knight on d1 with again a discovered attack on the queen. Now there are two possibilities, queen e7 or queen c7. So let's take a look at queen e7. Will be followed up with queen takes pawn check. Rook blocks, almost forced. Bishop takes rook check. Either king f8, then rook to f1. Knight e7, bishop e6, discovered check. Knight blocks. Knight, uh, rook takes knight check, pawn takes rook, and queen g8 mate, so that doesn't work. So after queen e7, queen g6 check, rook, uh, bishop takes rook, instead of king f8, Black can try, queen takes on f7, which would lead simply to knight d6 with a fork, so that doesn't work either. After knight takes, rook takes, instead of queen e7, black can try queen to c7. White should follow up with again queen takes pawn check, king e7, and then pawn takes with check and the discovered attack on the queen. This also loses, obviously. So black realizes that knight f2 with a rook fork should not be played because it's losing for black. 
instead of knight f2, black plays queen to b6, and queen to b6 attacks the bishop, attacks the pawn on e3, attacks the pawn on b2 in some cases. A nice developing move. At this point, if queen takes knight, black can play queen takes bishop, white should be okay, but that's not the best move. I play bishop to b3 instead, an undeveloping move. Now there's simply a threat of queen takes uh, knight, and Again, knight f2 shouldn't be played, but knight f2 is played anyways. Black thinks it's the best choice. I continue with knight to c4, attacking the queen. And the idea now is to push the queen back to the 7th and 6th rank. So, let's take a look that after. Um, After queen c4, what the places are that black can develop his queen to on the sixth rank. If black has to retreat from the sixth rank, the idea is queen takes g6 check with attacks on the king. So knight c4 in order to chase the queen back. Let's say black tries queen c6, white can follow up with bishop a4 with a pin, and if the pawn blocks, we can simply capture, and if queen captures bishop, we get a fork. So. That doesn't work. Queen c6 is losing. What about queen e6? Then simply knight to d6 check with an attack on the queen is losing for black. Queen a6 will lead to knight to d6 check. Now there are several possibilities. King e7 will bring in the queen. Queen c7 check. Knight blocks. Knight c8 check. Rook takes. And then queen takes d7 check. Which will lead to a. Uh, this is checkmate. If king d8 instead of king e7 is played, we get queen c8 check immediately, king e7, then knight f5 check, pawn takes knight, queen c7 check, knight blocks, and again queen takes d7 checkmate. So that variation doesn't work. If instead queen d7, we get knight b5 check, king e7, queen c7 check, king e8, now the rook comes in on c8 check and mate. So none of those variations work, they all need to mate. So after knight to c4, black plays queen to c7. So with knight to c4, I've chased black's queen away from the 6th rank and back to the 7th rank. This allows queen takes g6 check. Now black needs to play something 
to prevent rook f7 was played to prevent the check. Let's take a look at some other possibilities. If black plays queen f7 to prevent the check, I can play knight to d6 with a fork, so that doesn't work. If black tries king e7, I can play knight to b6, odd looking move. And after uh, queen to e5, which is best, knight c8 check, rook takes, queen f7 check, and mate. So queen f7 and king e7 don't work. Rook f7 was played instead. So now we get knight to d6. Check. With also a fork on uh, king and rook. Keep in mind that white's two rooks are still being forked. But it doesn't matter because this is a mating attack. King f8. Knight to b5, bishop e7, rook d8 check, queen takes rook, so I've pushed the queen back to the 8th rank. Finally I can play queen takes rook on f7 checkmate. 